And if you actually were to read the individual books, you would see oh, yeah, them. I did. Okay, yeah. so then you would know that these war periods are actually very rare in the time period that is being covered. Potentially somewhere around like 1,200 years is being covered uh, in the old from Exodus, mm. all the way yeah. to the Malachi. Yeah, yeah, How many wars are, are there and conflicts in this 1,200 year period? But there were, but there were wars and conflicts during Jesus' lifetime too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And you're, I like his message though, wait, don't get wait, me wrong. Like wait, Jesus has the best message of Wait, wait, you're jumping a little bit. I wanted to address specifically uh -huh. this idea uh -huh. that there is that violence is good in the Old Testament. It was allowed. It was, it was, oh, yeah. it was even encouraged uh, at times. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Because there are absolutely times when you need to use force for your own survival. That's not what God said to Jesus though. No, hold on a second. You have the wrong view of Jesus. Have you read the Gospels? Yeah, I did. Do you get I grew the, up Christian? Okay. More, Do you get the idea from reading the Gospels that Jesus is a pacifist? Yes. Okay. Can I see where he said that you should not fight? He said, "Turn the cheek, turn the other cheek, and love thy enemy." That is to do with insulting and espousing better values. If you love your enemy, he does that? Lift up the sword too. I mean, he did say, "Don't commit violence." No, he said, "No, no, no, no." That's what, that isn't though. what he said. He said, he "Those who live by the sword will die by the sword." Those who were repeated. Said, love thy enemy, though. Wait a second. Wait a second. Each of these have their own internal context. Living by something means what to you? For example, I, I, I live by the American Constitution, right. right? I adhere to it wholeheartedly and I practice it repeatedly. Mm -hmm. If you live by the sword, what does that mean? The sword is your go-to for all of your conflicts and resolutions. Right, right. If you are always violent, at some point, violence will come back to you. Yeah, fair. Now, Jesus absolutely says, Effectively, do not always be violent. Live by the never, sword. I'm pretty sure he said never be violent. He, 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 never, I mean, he didn't well, say that. I mean, that's that. the thing. I'm just saying, like, I'm he, not saying he doesn't say that. Amongst all the religions, I think Christianity is the most. Uh, I'm just trying to explain to you the context. And honest what, and Christianity is not pacifist. I think it is. It's, I mean, that's it's not. Thought. That's what oh, I okay, read. okay, okay. Well, wait, well, wait, were, you, were you like an Anabaptist or something? Southern Baptist originally. Okay. Yeah. So, Chris like, evangelical originally. But, but my only point is, like, his whole message was pacifism. It, it wasn't. Really was. it, it wasn't. It wasn't pacifism at all. We disagree on that. Really uh, I mean, if you want, you can. You read the Bible before. Pull it out and show me. It wasn't pacifism. Turning the other cheek is literally about retaliation, specifically for insults. Not for. Because don't forget, he gives three examples in that verse in Matthew. When someone strikes you, offer them the other cheek. When someone charges you to walk a mile, walk two. If someone asks you for your cloak, give them your tunic. Mm -hmm. These things are insults in a first century context. That's fair, that's fair. But none of them threaten your life. So for example, if I said, oh, you're just stupid, right? Uh -huh. The better virtue is to not respond to me by saying, well, you're hideous. If I come with a sword to stab you in the heart, uh -huh. you have the right to defend yourself because but, but, but not only... I didn't have Jesus defend himself against the Romans. Because he came for a purpose which you already know. He wasn't here to just live out a long human life. Would have been he was, he'd be better if he lived well, forever, right? Well, no. I would be a Christian hold to this on, day if he were here right on, now. Hold on, hold on. I'm just saying, you got to admit that's hold, a little bit of a contradiction. Hold there. on. It's a little bit of a, okay. a missing link. Finish off but, your, your point. I'm saying like, God is so powerful and yet he's not here right now visually. You know what I mean? Like, we can't see him. He's not performing any miracles. So to me, it's a little unfair. Even when he was here in the flesh performing miracles, yeah. the majority still did not believe in him. The majority. That's fair, that's fair. But, 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 so, but, my friend, but, 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 but if I may did. finish, yes, if sure. I may finish, God knows the beginning from the end by virtue of him being eternal and the creator of our reality. Mm -hmm. Nothing surprises God. So I hold as a point of, of, uh, of faith that whatever action we see God partaking in, in our reality, is the best possible action in order that as many people possible can come to Him. I don't know if I agree. I mean, COVID, the Holocaust, uh, World Wars. Like that has nothing 
to do with God and all to do with us. We are the ones who caused all those things. He can control us though. But he doesn't because he loves us. God isn't the cause of suffering, we are. He can control us though, he can stop the suffering. And the reason why he doesn't control us is because he loves us. I don't think that suffer children's suffering is a form act of love. So, when you say love, can you define what you mean? Because within the Bible, we know what we mean by love. I mean, not hurting someone would be, defi would be, would be loving someone. And so letting children die of AIDS and cancer and COVID and, and, and the Holocaust, that's not that's What not love. of these, which of any of these, where is God involved in this stuff? Where is he causing that's the Holocaust? Question. He should have been. Okay. So, I mean, that's my point, is he should have been. The yeah. point of Christianity, as hopefully you remember, is that it is not God who is inept or imperfect or lacking. It's us. And agree. And Agreed we, in Christianity. We are, wait, 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 wait. We are the ones who are causing the issues. Right, that's Wall, what Christianity World says, War II is a human endeavor. Right, but sure. my point is like... Wait, why, wait oh, a sorry. second. Let, 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 me, let, me get, let me get to the end. World War II was a human endeavor. Children being born with cancers is, an is a, a consequence of our fallen reality. Where things are imperfect, things perish and things die. If we were operating in the perfection which we were originally made in the idea of the Garden of Eden, those things would not happen. I mean, but seems, because we cruel. continue, like cruel God, to me, God isn't cruel here because despite the fact that we continuously disappoint God with things like World War II and the Holocaust, God is still providing ways for us to come to Him and know though. love. Do a little better. There is, so according to Jesus, and again, you, you, you can refute Him if you want, there is no better love than to sacrifice yourself for your own friends. AKA what Christ does for us. Right. That's that, true. That, that that's is that is the biggest form yeah, of love. Yeah. Do you have a bigger one? So so God so God should be not letting babies sacrifice themselves to prove a point to Babies aren't sacrificing they themselves. Are. They're dying of AIDS, they're dying of cancer. They aren't sacrificing themselves. They are suffering like we Why? all do Why? as a result of the fallen state of the world. Why do they deserve to suffer? So I would say they don't. But unfortunately, but because God's all powerful, he because not let them suffer, because bro. no 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 because of our actions, we cause them to suffer. For for example, ca cancer rates continue to increase uh, globally, right? Despite the fact that we are at a stage now, cancer when, treatment rates are dropping, are, are increasing now too. Yeah, the, the, they're increasing because the rates of cancer are also ability, increasing. Right? Stop it is increasing. It's increasing now, 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 now to twofold. Number one, the reasoning is increasing isn't because, I don't know, uh, God hates us more today than he did 2,000 years ago. But there, that, yeah. there are many things that we're doing as human beings yeah, that are, that are our environment. Exactly. Yeah, now, we don't have to do these things. We don't have to. We can find alternative ways. We can. But for some reason, greed, self-interest, lack of seeing each other as children of God, re lead us to say, you know what? You, you can die. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm making a million dollars. It's us and not God. Right. Now, agree, like we but, keep but he's saying, like above us and he should just he's come down above and us. Save us. And he did. And he did. Not enough. In the person of Jesus. Somewhat, somewhat, but not enough. Don't worry though. And he I, he I, will I, come I, back I again. You being an honest the debater versus one, one more thing. He just runs away. One more thing. Yeah, go ahead. He will come back again. You already know this. However, the second time, uh -huh. it's not going to be like the first. Right. In the first time... Yeah, it'll be revelations, yeah. Exactly. You could argue Donald Trump's revelations already, you can argue. Yeah. You, 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 can, you can argue that he fits the motif or whatever, but so. I'm talking Some about Christ in particular. I'm not saying that. The first time, he was here... I don't like him, but I'm not saying he's the devil. The first time, he was here not to condemn the world, uh -huh. to but save to it. save it. Yeah. Awesome. The uh -huh. second time, he is here to judge. Right. Wait, since four horsemen, is Jesus going to come down and judge everyone? Like, I don't... So, in the manner it will occur, I don't know. Right. Revelations has apocalyptic imagery. Right. So, basically, John sees something and is trying to convey to the people who, 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 who he met. Sometimes you can have a dream and try to convey it to people, right. but what you're conveying might not be the exact thing you saw. Right. No, word for word. But the idea is there. Now, when he comes, he's judging. So, you got to ask yourself, are you going to be judged as the sheep, those who followed him, or as the goats, 
I'm gonna go to hell probably. I don't want you to. I appreciate it. But it's up to you. Thank you again for God bless you. All right.